I created a 13 story mega skyscraper in my brand new Minecraft survival world. However, little did I know this would be one of my most difficult projects I've ever faced. So I booted up my hardcore world and got started. <sighs> There goes 45 minutes of my life. Alright, let's try this again, except I'm going to leave the hardcore option turned off. So hopefully this time that means I won't end up losing nearly an hour of work. So I began cutting down trees, getting stone, cutting down trees, getting iron, cutting down even more trees, holy cow I cut down so many. Soon, not within long, I was getting back to where I'd left off. I then found a nice area next to two villages to build my absolutely amazing house. Alright, I'm already getting bored. Let's just do like one of those quick like edit things where they just... That's all you get because uh, for some reason... All the rest of my recordings, I didn't record any audio, so it's just like, dead quiet. Yeah, great job, man. By the time I realized I hadn't been recording audio, I was already in the nether getting netherite. And yes, I got netherite before I even beat the game, okay? Listen, I'm not that good, okay? I, I'm, I'm pretty bad. I was like making out or something, but it's disgusting. Don't do that again, dude. Ah. So it's down here, I see. Okay, so it should be some. Oh, there we go. Nice. No way. Wait. <laughs> I found the spawner rune immediately. What? Boom, the most important part of this all, shulker boxes and an elytra. Now, it's about time you get what you clicked on this video for. First, we need to get these three steps done. We gotta plan, we gotta get materials, and we gotta start building that thing. So this is kind of how the tower is going to look. It's pretty much just gonna look like a giant spike, which conveniently, I'm actually calling this tower the spike. The first floor is obviously going to be the lobby, then the second floor is going to be used for shopping. This is where a lot of the villagers are going to be. Then the next five floors will be fit with housing. This is for people to get their sleep and get them Z's if you know what I mean. Then the next three floors are going to be my storage where I keep all of my cocaine. Then the two floors after that will be fit with my cats, Walmart and Amazon. And then finally, because I'm greedy and self-centered, the final floor is going to be my living space. Now this skyscraper is going to be pretty much built out of purely white concrete, which I'm going to need approximately 3,000 blocks of, which is nearly the amount of car batteries in which I've thrown into the ocean. Now the good thing about white concrete is it's pretty easy to get. It's just pretty much time consuming. So if I'm ready to waste the next five hours of my life, let's just go ahead and get on with it. Day one of acquiring concrete powder. 
I can't feel my arms or legs anymore. Everything hurts. Pain is the only thing I feel. I've been doing this for five minutes straight, and I need my Minecraft parkour and subway surfers or else I might lose control of everything. Please, get me out of this mess. Oh hey, I've got plenty to start off with. Nice. Now, let's go ahead and build this thing. Oh, right. We're kind of going to need a flat area to build this. Now that we have all this flat space, we need to determine where we're actually going to place this thing. Think about right here. I kind of want it to be in the center of all this area. I don't want it to be too close to my house, which uh, won't be my house for much longer. So this tower is going to be approximately 156 blocks tall. Wow. Well. It's above the clouds for sure. 220. Wow. You no, know, I didn't really think about how tall this thing would be until I'm standing up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifteen, seventeen, fifteen. So after having a mental breakdown, realizing that this was indeed going to take longer than three minutes to build, I started getting at the base. <laughs> Something I came up with while building this was to place water along the outside of the tower, sort of similar to the stuff you see in Dubai. Also, so I don't die when I inevitably fall off while building this. Oh, and I can't tell you the amount of times I had to stop building so I could get more sand. This tower, if you think about it, is all sand because of the concrete and glass, which is making me hungry because sand is my favorite food. Anyways, enjoy this beautiful time lapse. Okay, it has only just occurred to me that um, there's only one way to go in this tower, and um, that's up. There's, there's no way down. Um, I did not notice this until now, and now it's too late to think of a design of how to get back down. If this tower were to exist in real life, um, you'd be stuck at the top. But because I am lazy and I don't want to do all that, I'm just not going to build a way back down, so uh, yeah. Okay, anyway, sorry for the interruption. Let's keep building this tower.